am Bonnie Francis and we have Beth Mackle here from Digestive Disorders Associates. Um, tell us where you're located. I know you're going to be at the Senior Summit we on are. May 20th. Yeah. So um, you guys are going to be out there with a booth and people can get information from you. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be a vendor out there. Yeah, we're going to be a vendor there. We This is our third year sponsoring. Um, we will hopefully have great giveaways. Um, we also are going to bring a food product uh, that we gave away last year that a lot of people enjoy called IB Guard, which if you have an upset stomach, uh -huh. um, peppermint does wonders for that. But when you, uh, the trouble is, um, if you take it as a candy form, it doesn't get to your stomach. So IB Guard is peppermint coated that you swallow and get down into your stomach and oh. then it's released so it coats the stomach in a natural way and calms your wow. gut. So we'll have samples of that, okay. which, which went very well last year. And um, some other things, a little few surprises. Okay. We're excited. So what does a person, what information do they get from you when they come up to your booth? Um, well, they can ask about, we'll have a nurse there, so they can ask about any sort of digestive problems that they're having. Um, okay. If they have a question about uh, colon cancer screenings, how often to do that, they can discuss it with the nurse. Um, questions about everybody dreads the idea of prep, yeah. colon yeah. prep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so she can go over all the developments in colon prep. It, it's not two gallons of horrible liquid anymore. So they, she can go over all of that information with you. Um, we'll have information on our doctors. A lot of our patients um, come up and just say hi and tell us how wonderful Dr. Sucker is or that they've been going to Dr. King for years. Um, and that's always nice to hear. Um, and a lot of it is just sort of when that happens to thank the patients for supporting the practice. Right. Now, if someone can't come out to the summit, um, where do they come to your office? Well, we have three locations, um, but this is in support of our Chester office, which is right off 50 uh, at the AMC Health Services right. um, building at 1620 Main Street in Chester. Um, Dr. Sucre, Dr. King, and Dr. Epstein all see patients there. And then our main office is in Annapolis, as our surgery center is. And then we have another practice in Watch Chapel, uh, but that's kind of a distance for the shore. So. Okay. Is there a website they could yes, go on? Yes, uh, you could go www.dda.net. Um, we also have a Facebook page and a Twitter feed that they can follow. Um, okay. Uh, and our scheduling is easy. Either you can do it, um, fill out a form on the internet, um, request it through email, or just simply call 410-224-GUTS, 4887. <laughs> and call in, we'll be happy to schedule anything for you. Okay. Now, when does a person, I, I, I know everybody's different, and they go through, you know, there may be a virus around or something. Right. How long does a person go before they call your office though? Like if it is more than two days or something like that, is there a standard protocol? Or? Um, most of the time, uh, b before people see us, they have been to a primary care okay. or an urgent facility and complained of their symptoms. Okay. And then the primary care uh, will say, well, you know, that's you need maybe a specialist right. uh, because this isn't a cold, this is not the, f they can test for the cold or the flu. Right. Um, so they, they see a bigger issue or a more uh, longer issue. So then they refer to us. T typically symptoms will last for a couple weeks and that's when to be concerned. Of course, um, we always get the urgent calls. Uh, I've got to be seen right away. I'm uh -huh. in such pain. How long has it happened? Well, I don't know, about a year. So, you know. Wow. Everybody's a little different on when they reach that critical point of this is a real problem. Right. Um, but I, I would guess typically if you've been um, experiencing symptoms for a few weeks, enough that you sought out your primary care to, right. to rule out basic viruses. Right that's when you would come. Okay. And then colon cancer screenings, which uh, begin at age 50 or 45 if you're African-American, um, 
they depending on what they find after the initial one if you have a clean colon you'll come back in 10 years if you have a few polyps it might be you come back in five years or three years depending um and family history plays a part of that too yes, right? correct um that's a good point i should have thought of that uh if you have a family history of colon cancer you should begin your screenings um, five years prior to the first diagnosis in your family for instance if your brother at 35 found out he had colon cancer you would begin screening at 30 if possible or his children would begin their screenings at 30 because the whole point of colon cancer screenings is it is a treatable and beatable disease right. if you catch it before it develops and right. colonoscopy is absolutely the way to do it um, you know you hear a lot of talk of the test that um, there's tests that are not invasive and you, you take a stool sample and you send it off, but that detects colon cancer after it's happened um, or after it's already in your system where colonoscopy can catch, the goal is to catch it before it even develops into right. cancer. Right. You look at suspicious spots and things. Right. They're while polyps they're and then yeah. you just take them out before they develop into cancer. Okay. Alrighty, so we'll look forward to seeing yeah. you May 20th out at the 4-H Park yep. for the Senior Summit. So come out and give Beth a shout. Say Great. hi. Please say hi. Yeah. And please pray for sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we want good weather. Yes. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Rather Than Dan here for QAC TV. Thank you for watching another QAC TV quality production.